coming up of factories. In this module, you will learn about the advent of factory system and understand the pace of industrialization. When we think of factories and production in a factory, the image of workers dressed similarly and working with huge machines sharing the same space to produce something comes to mind. When did factories originate? The origin of the factory system is dated around the 1730s in Britain. The emergence of factory system is usually linked to the process of industrialization and mechanization. However, we should keep in mind that the coming up of factory system was not a sudden phenomenon as we tend to think. A number of inventions which made the production process easier and faster were gradually coming up and picked up pace during this period which improved the gross output without the need of the factory system. Most of the improvements and inventions focused on the textile industry. Inventions like the water frame ensured faster and stronger threads being created. Cloth made of cotton became the leading export of Britain. Raw cotton imported by Britain rose from 2.5 million pounds to 22 million pounds from 1760 to 1787, signifying the importance of this industry. This imported cotton was then processed into cloth and supplied to the international market. The factory system provided a spurt in cloth production and was the leading factor for the growth of exports. Richard Orkwright was the pioneer of the factory system. He improved the spinning jenny and incorporated various other inventions and improvements in the production process to set up his factory at Comford. His machine, the water frame, enabled unskilled workers to create thread. His factory was one of the first factories where the process of production of cloth was seen confined under a roof, not like the proto-industrialization era where the process was scattered over several villages. This modernized process of production ensured a better quality control and standardization as well as the regulation of labor. The first phase of industrialization was fueled by the growth of cotton industries which lasted till the mid-19th century. The second phase was spurred by the iron and steel industry. Railways and infrastructure needed iron and steel and from 1840 onwards, the demand for iron and steel increased rapidly. By 1873, Britain was exporting iron and steel worth 77 million pounds, which was double the value of its cotton exports. Now we might ask the question, how rapid was the pace of industrialization? The story of industrialization and its success implies that factories started replacing all other traditional systems of productions rapidly. However, this was not what happened. The traditional setup continued for several decades before it was replaced by the modern factory system. Even at the end of the 19th century, less than 20% of the workforce was employed in the modern factories. The traditional sectors were not technologically stagnant. Innovations and improvements were constant and the driving factor in the growth of industries like pottery, glasswork, tanning, building, etc. Technological changes in the steam-powered cotton and metal works industries were slow because of the prohibitive cost of new machinery. Also, these machines were expensive to maintain because of the frequent repairs they needed. On the other hand, labor was cheap and readily available. So, the industrialists and merchants relied on the older forms of production. One of the prime examples of the reluctance of the merchants and producers to accept new technology can be seen when most of them refused to incorporate the steam engine improved by James Watt. 
the steam engine has been called the most revolutionary technology and is seen as the driving force behind modernization and mechanization of the production methods. The steam engine was patented in 1781 by James Watt. But by the beginning of the 19th century, there were only 321 steam engines all over England, of which the bulk were used in mines. The other industries did not accept the engines easily. Thus, it seems that our workers of the Industrial Revolution during the mid-19th century were mostly traditional artisans and laborers. Let's recap. The origin of the factory system is dated around the 1730s in Britain. A number of inventions which made the production process easier and faster were gradually coming up. Cloth made of cotton became the leading export of Britain. Richard Arkwright was the pioneer of the factory system and invented the water frame. This modernized process of the factory system ensured a better quality control and standardization as well as the regulation of labor. The technological changes were slow to spread because of the expensive machinery. The first phase of industrialization was fueled by the growth of the cotton industries. The second phase was spurred by the iron and steel industry. The steam engine was patented in 1781 by James Watt, but was slow to be accepted by the merchants and industrialists.